how to increase impression share and click share on Amazon. How I think about impression share here is you want to win 90% of impression share. It's really easy. You win these four placements throughout the whole day. Mm -hmm. uh, it's really easy to test. We, we run this as a market share tactic. We have spent $50,000 on one keyword in 12 hours. Like Kyle and I can speak to that. You want to win 95% of impression share. Just make up, make sure you have the highest bid and enough budget to cover this placement right here. If you go into your campaign and you see you have 10% impression share, that probably means, oh, you're out of budget and you're not, you know, maybe, maybe you do have the highest bid, but you're only affording it 10% of the time, or you're showing up on the PDP right here and you're only getting 10% of the impressions relative to the people who are getting 100%. How do you get 100% of impressions? Like, as a customer, everyone sees these placements right here. How do you get 100% of impression share? You have to show up right here. There's no other way to do it because of how customer path is on Amazon. So increasing impression share is easy. You either bid the most possible or higher, and then you have enough budget to, to win that placement throughout the whole day. Anything beyond that, I think it's overcomplicated strategically when people are like, trying to state, you know, well, I'm at 20% and I'm showing up here, here, here. Like, I think that's, I don't use it for that. I use it truly as a market share play for top of search, because this is in my opinion, the most important placement on Amazon. So that's my consideration there. And we create impression share campaigns and focus on top of search. And then we've also started layering and forecasting for spend based off impression share. So we will pull our impression share data on the keyword level, and then we will forecast how much spend is needed to win a certain keyword 90% of the time based off our minimum valuation. And then that allows us to go to brand and say, hey, you really want to win the term Christmas gifts? Well, based off your last 30 days history, you're going to need to spend $17,000 a day. So that's how we've used it to date. Um, do, do you have anything to add? If you want to increase impression share, increase spend, increase bids, increase budgets. I mean, it's, that's it. It's, yeah. it's 90 a hard budget. thing. I, I think it, it brings up a fun question that I think about a lot is like, people try to back into, based on my current impression share, my current CPC, conversion rate, all these things, how much would I have to spend? Like you're talking about, how much would I have to spend? You can try to forecast. And the yeah. funny thing is you, you rarely ever get to close to hundred percent. It is the inventory required uh, to sell that much goods and like hold those. It's almost impossible. Um, there are very few vendors in the world who can just like dominate hundred percent, you know, and, and actually serve the customer that's looking for it. So unless your niche is very specific and small, like go for it, but we're talking about big terms. Why it's such a variable is like, let's say you win those placements hundred percent of the time or you're winning at 50% of the time. Your competitor goes out of stock. They're no longer mm. advertising on it. You're winning that exact same placement for half the price. And now it's like, oh, now I my impression shares jumped to 95%. So that's why it's such a hard model to forecast is it is based off a lot of these variables that we can't control because it's an auction. So you are bidding on so many different placements against so many different brands. Do you have any comments on the second part of this question, which was improving click-through rate? And there's from, not, it was from an ad perspective, right? Isn't that what it said? Technically from an ad perspective, but we don't have control over the listing quality. So from an ad perspective, in my opinion, it's just alignment. Make sure you're targeting the right keywords for your image. But from the image perspective, do you have anything? It depends. Um, it's <laughs> That's a, a, you know, there's blogs, so many blogs that have been written about this, like how to increase that click-through rate. These things change. This is one of those things. It's like you have to know what category you're talking about, what specific type of product, what's going to call out to the customer. There's a yeah. lot of customer experience things that you really need to think about. What's up? Yeah, it's it's such a variable topic. Like yeah. I was thinking about protein again. Like if you're targeting women's protein, maybe have a pink bottle. Like there's we, so many ways to go with it. Yeah, yeah. Um, you'll see in some you'll see in some categories. Like Amazon does not want to see a person in a hero image, right? But you'll see in some categories, there is a person in every image because Amazon, it's just like, it's unsaid that, oh, this 
particular category, we actually don't mind having a hand or a person because it converts well, right? So it's, it's really just about knowing your customer in the category and, and what's going to work best. That's a tough one.